Hey, what's going on everyone? So I'm going to make a video today on this recent meta analysis that was done uh, titled veganism, vegetarianism, bone mineral density and fracture risk. So this is a meta analysis that Sean Baker was recently talking about on his YouTube channel. And I just wanted to show you guys uh, some of the study. Um, shout out to the dude who linked me this article. I so greatly appreciate it. Uh, these articles can be very expensive, so I appreciate the support and uh, I was happy to make a video on this to show you guys a little bit more in depth on uh, what Sean Baker was talking about. Um, so here this is basically a, a systematic review and meta-analysis sought to study the impact of vegetarian and vegan diets on bone mineral density and fracture risk. And I also have uh, another video going over a meta-analysis that I that was done, I believe, in 2009, whereas this meta-analysis was done in late uh, 2017, just recent really, recently released. Uh, and the difference between that older study and this study is that uh, it's now um, showing to a greater degree that both vegans and vegetarians, mostly vegans, are at a greater risk for bone fracture and showing uh, lower bone mineral density. All right, this slide just talks about the discussion. The present meta-analysis aimed to study the effect of vegetarian and vegan diets compared to omnivorous diets on bone mineral density and fracture rates. Both vegetarians and vegans were found to have lower bone mineral density at the lumbar spine and femur, and the vegans had a higher risk of fracture than omnivores. The lower bone mineral density and the higher risk of fracture were more pronounced in vegans, so people following a fully plant-based diet excluding all animal products, than in vegetarians and in high-quality studies versus lower quality studies. This slide is showing bone mineral density differences among women who are vegan and vegetarian. Uh, as it is clearly shown uh, that vegans tend to have the lowest bone mineral density, although, uh, and, and the red dot I believe represents the average or the um, the average omnivorous group. So just because somebody's omnivorous and eating animal products does not mean they are by any means healthier. Uh, they are more likely to have a greater bone mineral density uh, and vegans are more likely to have a lower bone mineral density, but it is not uh, given. Uh, it really just depends on the quality of the diet so these two paragraphs just talk about the femoral neck having a lower bone mineral density in vegans and vegetarian than omnivores. It says subgroup analysis similar to findings from the lumbar spine, subgroup analysis, the effect of diet on uh, femoral neck bone mineral density was found to be stronger among vegans. So what this means is the deterioration is stronger among vegans than vegetarians. Okay, and in this slide we have uh, a list of groups of peoples, you know, how long that they were following their diet, what type of a diet they're on, and their bone mineral density. Uh, once again, this shows that vegans typically have the lowest bone mineral density, uh, although that's not the case with every single one of them. Uh, just because we're following a particular diet doesn't mean that we aren't going to have issues. Um, vegans, vegetarians are just more likely or more predisposed to having lower bone mineral density due to, uh, you know, they're more likely being a chance that they're not getting uh, adequate nutrition. Previous studies have suggested that vegetarians have higher bone mineral density and bone mineral content than omnivores. However, recent studies have not found any positive impact of vegetarian diets on bone health, and some of them have even found a negative impact. In fact, most of the studies published in the last decades have found lower bone mineral density in vegetarians and vegans compared with omnivores. Yes, 
over the last decade, this has been consistent, although only three have found statistically significant associations. The present results are in line with a previous meta-analysis that included nine studies and found lower bone mineral density at the lumbar spine and femoral neck for vegetarians compared with omnivores. The present findings suggest that the lower bone mineral density values found for vegetarians and vegans could be clinically relevant because fracture risk was found to be higher in vegans than in omnivores. So these couple paragraphs are pretty interesting. It talks about Asians not even having a higher bone mineral density or even larger bones overall, but having thicker and denser cortices and they hypothesized this to a greater protein intake. Uh, it says that Asian populations generally consume a higher intake of tofu and other soy products, higher in proteins and isoflavones, and uh, a class of phytoestrogens found predominantly in legumes and beans. Um, because protein intake has a modest but statistically significant association with bone mineral density, as well as bone mineral content, the effect of vegetarian and veganism could have a greater impact on Caucasians than in Asians. So what this is saying is that protein or the greater consumption of uh, protein in Asian countries could be contributing to why they don't, uh, they don't have a higher risk for bone fracture. And here is the conclusion that the meta-analysis came to. The findings of this study suggest that both vegetarian and vegan diets are associated with lower bone mineral density compared with omnivorous diets, and that vegans have a higher fracture risk than omnivores. The effect of vegan diets on bone mineral density is more pronounced than the effect of vegetarian diets. Both vegetarian and vegan diets should be a appropriately planned to avoid dietary deficiencies associated with bone health. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. I hope you found this insightful and helpful. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave a link below with Andrew Perlot. You know, if you are on a plant-based diet, raw plant-based diet, uh, you know, definitely check him out. He's got some good information on protecting your bones. You know, if you're thriving on a plant-based diet, that's great. But if you're not, um, you know, let's find something for you that works. Um, you, you, know, you know, different diets are going to work differently for different people. Not every diet is going to have the same effect. That's been shown time and time again. So we all just need to find something that works for us. And uh, like this study shows, people on a plant-based diet are more likely to have issues with uh, bone fracture and less bone mineral density. Uh, so let's just take extra precaution here. Uh, thank you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. Leave your comments below. Leave your questions below. And you can also send me an email at dougoforgan at gmail.com. All right. Take care, guys. Until next time.